Hit, ha, hu, what is good? Let's go. Little Johnny Bravo. Remember that one? Back in the day on Cartoon Network. I was poor. I didn't, I didn't have cable. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? I know who Johnny Bravo okay. is. I thought you were being a little Richard. <laughs> that would have been more like. <laughs> what about Johnny Bravo? I know about him. I don't know if yeah. I can He's, sing he just, the intro He just likes song. to throw in that he was poor, a, a, you know, a poor boy. Like, there's no. I didn't wasn't singing the intro song. He loves I mean, me. Everybody, everybody knows who Johnny Bravo is. <laughs> I, I didn't know that that was Johnny Bravo. Ooh, that was a nice Ooh. one. That was a that was a well done pop. Mine was. Weak and it got all over me. Mm, that's yeah. <laughs> we've all been there before. <laughs> I've had long talks with your wife about that. It's weak and it gets all over me. <laughs> How can it be that weak if it <laughs> cake batter? Yeah. All right. What is good? We're back. We got a little rookie report for you today. We're gonna hit uh, six wide receivers, uh, three at a time, three and three. Um, Got to come back if you're watching on YouTube for the second video. Rookie running backs. I mean, usually we'd go ham on those, but I mean, it's basically We Bruce. have been. Well, we have been. We've been doing plenty of talking about the ones that are worth talking about. Um, so we're going to hit the wide receivers today um, and just give you kind of a rundown on what they've been up to and, and have a discussion surrounding um, Chris Olave, George Pickens, Jahan Dotson in this set, and then we'll go on for with Romeo Dubs, Traylon Burks, and who's the last one? Garrett, Garrett Wilson. Wilson. So uh, let's get it rolling here. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, all those nice things. Hit us with a five-star review on any platform of your choice and send us a screenshot of it. You'll be entered in a free t-shirt giveaway. We've given away a couple of free t-shirts. Going to give away another one here soon. So get those in. But let's get rolling. Who you guys want to start with? That guy is the top of the list. I think Pickens. No, Chris Olave. Chris right Olave. There. Already did the description of the show. We're, we're sticking to the script. Yeah, that's that's when everybody looks at the screen and goes, Chris Olave. Right. Like I, tried I, was, to. I was asking a question to um, the group so that we would just, you guys would respond with saying, Chris Olave, he's the first one on the, sh- in the sheet. I don't, have the, I don't have the show I know, sheet pulled you, up. We was looking for more of an organic answer. That's all. You know, just trying to. Hold, please. You know, do it. Do what hosts do. Set up. Everybody say, yeah, I think Chris Olave. Is he good? Tell me if he's good or not. Yes? That's all people want to know. Uh, it appears. <laughs> it appears. Uh, Is it just the air yards? Is that what makes him good? He's basically the Abe Froman of air yards. Who the fuck is that? It's the sausage king of Chicago, of course. <laughs> what, 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 are you, what are you referencing now? Ferris Again, Bueller. I was poor Ferris growing Bueller's up. Ferris Bueller's day off. Yeah, that's a bit before my time. A bit before? your time what is happening around here i don't know about that but when did it come out it doesn't matter when it came out i've seen it once i've seen it once once? what i've seen it more than once but not enough to have got that reference and i'm usually pretty good at references that's a a strong reference right there thank you audience they'll they'll agree with me yeah hit us with a comment (laughs) abe from your abe froman the sausage king of chicago (laughs) Is that when he's calling in? No, that's when he, they're at the restaurant and he's on his day off. And it, well, yeah, it's, Matthew whole, Bro- it's Matthew Broderick. That's the whole movie. But. Thanks, guys. Yes, so Chris Olave is the Abe Froman of Air Yards. He is number one. Um, <laughs> the, the Air Yards king. Of rookies? Of like everyone. No, everybody. Uh, so not just Chicago? Wait, nope. he's the best wide receiver in the whole 676 league? 676 Air Yards. He's number one. Uh, and I'm sure you know most of you have seen that stat. Um so obviously he's been playing really well after after week one. I believe he had three targets, and then after that, um, he has amassed uh, thirty one targets or thirty two targets after that. Um, so I think some of that is probably a product of Landry and Michael Thomas being banged up through this stretch here, and Michael Thomas not playing. Um, but nevertheless, you know, he's getting the targets whilst out there, and um, you know. He's 21st, or he's uh, he has 21 receptions. That's tied for 21st. He's got 335 yards. That's tied for ninth. Or um, he's got 16 yards per route run. That's 17th. And then if you put the 50% filter on there, 
Um, no, yards per reception. Sorry, only yards per reception. Yeah, that'd 16 be a crazy, yards per route run. be a crazy yards per route <laughs> he run. He would be the best uh, wide receiver yeah. in the league. 16 yards the per world. reception. That's 17th. And then if you put the 50% filter on there, uh, which is kind of the guys. I'm a 20% guy, but that's I, just I, me. I stay. I, it depends I, on what suits my narrative. Well, I sort at this point in the year, 20% is <laughs> fine. And I sort yeah. most of this is by 20%, which is why I noted the 50%. Okay. Um, with per 50, PFF. With 50%, he's fourth um, in that metric. Um, yards per route run, my case. 2.46, 12th. And with that same 50% filter, he's seventh. Um, so basically, that's kind of just filtering out the guys who are just maybe catching a few balls and here or there. Matt's favorite stat, just crushing the A dot. He's, yeah, you know, he's second in number that. One a dot in the, number one A dot in the, in the league. Tutu Atwell. <laughs> That's why one, that's, that's, that's why you got to use the zero filter, percent filter well, right why there. That's you got to use the filter with one, yeah, with, with one filter. target. Got to yeah. use the filter there. That's why you got to use the filter. Nineteen point three a dot. Uh, like I said, six hundred and seventy six uh, air yards, deep targets thirteen. Oh. That's good for number one. Also, the Abe Froman of deep targets. Um, <laughs> nine contested catch targets for uh, contested catches. Uh, that's tied for thirteenth. The dominator mm-hmm. rating of twenty five point three. Um, that's number 32. Um, and then 26.1 target share, uh, per player profile. That's good for number 20. Um, and hundred percent route participation, pretty much wide receiver 17, 15.1 points per game. So that's kind of giving you the lowdown of where, um, he stands in a lot of the metrics that people care about. Uh, you know, obviously that the metrics people pro- are, have to be creaming their genes over this guy. Though. Well, yeah, he's, he's absolutely they were beforehand. Putting the work in. Just like, he could have had an even bigger game. Well, the funny thing is, is the talking about the metric people. We just had Riley on a couple last week and Olave was Riley's wide receiver one going into the draft, yeah, going into well, the year. I think he, he grades out. Well, I don't actually remember. I'm sure the, I think people knocked decent, Olave like, but people, he's, he was a technician of being able to, so the yeah. film guys also liked Olave. But I think people, I think a lot of people as a community kind of like looked over Olave because he was getting Garrett Wilson was there. Smith and Jigba was there as well too. And I think that he kind of got knocked because he stayed that extra right, year right. when he, I mean, obviously, it doesn't too matter. Too good now. for too long, and then had a little bit of a down year last year. Yeah, a, a down year, which right, would have been right. a good year for a lot of people, but he had, he definitely didn't have the season he had the year before. So, yeah. I think my, my biggest knock on him was maybe being a little soft after the catch, but he's been looking pretty good here. Yeah. You know, um, not, not particularly scared. And what I, what I like to see here is, and, I think it would have taken a little bit more time for this to come to fruition where he was going to be used as a little bit more of a deep target if both of those guys were healthy off the rip plus Jameis. Um, But now you're seeing he's been decent on every level of the field. They've thrown him a couple of of short little uh, screens and bubbles and kind of just like short little outs right there. And then they've shown that he's he's shown a little bit of game in the intermediate. And then, of course, he's everybody knows he's really good at yeah. stretching the field and, and, and the downfield stuff, which is thought where you thought he would have to start off making his hay and then work into those things. And I think you've gotten a nice little um, preview of what could be. And, and it's nice to see him being able to do those things. He was pretty good with Andy Dalton last week. He's been okay with Jameis and, and Jameis probably a little better for the downfield stuff. Yeah. But his a dot was still, yeah, shut up. His a dot <laughs> was still pretty good last week. With, yeah. Uh, even a drink every time with, you see, um, uh, Dalton. Dalton in. Yeah. yeah. Dalton started off a little shaky, but was pretty good in the second half last week. Um, it, like I said, Olave could have had a little bit bigger of a game this past week. Um, but certainly somebody worth, um, you know, the price of admission. And, yeah. and and if you drafted him right now and we did some a lot of later drafts and he was definitely being pushed down to that, you know, 9, 10, 11 spot especially shit with the running well, backs getting pushed up yeah. he made it to right. the top of the second with, in a with, couple of drafts with the run yeah, yeah with pierce and robinson getting a lot of hype preseason wise when we were in that last week doing rookie drafts uh, you know there was plenty of people in home leagues uh pushing Thirsty for running backs. pushing those running backs up and yeah. and uh pushing olave down to sometimes 12 or two two one i think in one league that we had um and i was trying to get up there to get him at the two one um but I did get Pickens at like one eight or so. That's only because I took Traylon at one seven, like an <laughs> we'll, idiot. We'll get there. Um, so Chris Olave has uh, two hundred ten receiving yards on throws, uh, twenty plus yards. Only Tyree Kill has more, two hundred forty three yards. So some might know, say that was good. Or some, that'd be good. Some people say that w- that would be good. That was a uh, a Twitter stat. I don't. I 
I didn't cite the person who I got it from. Plagiarism. Um, yeah. I, I try to on, on. You didn't all. claim it is your own. No, I'm not. It's, listen, the way I look at it is like I, if, I, if I take a, a word vomit from somebody of like a good opinion, then it's plagiarism. If I'm taking fucking stats, like get out of here. Like they're stats. <laughs> like. They're not, they're, they're, they're not, uh, they're not, uh, that person primary. probably took it from somebody else that he heard on the broadcast or somebody heard talk on the radio or, you know, maybe he did the work, but like, you know, some to pick up something like that. you know, I, I should have cited it. I do try to cite it throughout. There's a couple other things I have in here cited. Uh, but it's really at the long and the short of it is, is Olave it's crushing the stats is, is, has shown up and shown out for you. Um, right now, you know, would you, if we redrafted, would, where would you put Olave? Yeah, I mean, is he the wide receiver one in this class? Not for me, but... I don't think for me either. What about the number two? He'd probably come in at three or four. I, you know, honestly, you know, I, I'd like to, th- you know, he, he, he kind of got a, a nice little opportunity here with Jarvis and Michael Thomas being banged up. I don't Showing know if, he can if, do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I like that. But, I, you know, I think the next guy that we're going to talk about, Jahan Dotson, if he would have gotten those opportunities... we're going to talk about. Um, George Pickens. Well, he's going to be in this <laughs> series of three. Um, you know, if he get if if Curtis Samuel would have been banged up a little bit and Terry McLaurin was missing time, I think Jahan Dotson would be putting up numbers, maybe not quite in the air yards department, but similar to what Olave is doing. Um, I mean, he's still putting so, up right, similar. To right, that. Well, that, and that's kind of what's leading me to say that you know, yeah. I think I think that it wouldn't be too far off. Um, it just seems like and, and George Pickens, maybe we're just getting the tip right now of what could be. So it's hard to say for me, it's too early for me to really juggle these guys around. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, you know, sh- would I put him over Traylon Burks right now? Probably. Got to. I think you have to. Yeah. I think you got to. Got to. Um, I just did a trade this week um, and acquired some Olave uh, for Kenny Pickens. Kenny Pickett. I don't get Pickens and Pickett always <laughs> flipped around. George Pickett. Um, super flex. Kenny Pickens. Super flex. Um, so, you know, wasn't planning on and trading first, Kenny Pickett. Right? I got, yeah, I got, I traded Algier. Ugh. I traded Algier and Pickett for a first in Chris Olave. Was there another thing? Piece I, th- on top I got of that a third too? in there. Not so, nothing. No, it's an auction draft. So every little auction rookie draft. So every little bit. Counts. Those are spicy. Yeah. yeah. yeah those, I got, I love I'm going to, I'm going to really get Never into detail on, be, on the Patreon fun. side of things uh, at some point here in the next week or two of, of, you know, some thoughts on, on what I'm doing in that league. Um, cause I kind of had a good plan in place and the first trade I've made is, has really, uh, locked that in. Um, but Chris Olave or Devonta Smith. Um, I think I might lean Smith there. Yeah. Marquise Brown, Hollywood. I'm taking Olave. Sorry, well, that's, that's okay. take lock for me there. Because you just hate Marquise. Yeah, not a big Marquise guy. He wasn't. Um, I'm. I probably still lean Hollywood with what we're seeing right now. I Seven, Seventeen I, targets. I couldn't I, knock you for taking Hollywood. Obvi- for sure. Obviously, again, this is really early in the season, so it's hard for me to say. You know, unless you know. Bateman or Olave is probably a better question. Olave. I think I'd, I'd, take I'd probably Olave go Olave at this point. And you love Bateman, so there's yeah. some not take lock. There. Yeah. Um, See, I don't want to take lock with everyone. Just <laughs> so just a select few. Kenny Walker or Olave? Oh, uh, some rookies uh, up in there. Oh, uh, man. I mean, how far has Walker fallen? I mean, he was going one two pretty consistently. Right. That's why I threw it out there. Um, I think you. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to go Olave here, but you probably straight up you probably have to take Olave because he's got more value right now. But I mean, yeah. it's just a matter of time before Kenny Walker. I mean, yeah. it might take might take a fucking year. You know, might take the rest. Of, might take going into well, the this next is season. dynasty. So could be this week. Penny on the injury report today. Oh, finally, <laughs> it, was, it was a matter of time <laughs> already. Ah, uh, man. That's a coin flip. I'll stick with Kenny Three Sticks. I know it's not going to be a popular opinion, but I'm, I like what I saw I think there. Subscribed. I know what I saw. I like what I saw. Yeah. I'm sticking with Kenny. Take lock. Bunch of catches for Kenny. Kenny. Oh, Kenny can Ken, catch, apparently. Kenny. Ken. Ken. They did change it. He's Ken. Kenny. Or Kenneth. 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 Okay. He's Kenneth. Ken. Terrible. Good job, Sleeper. Would update that. That Hollywood one's got me a little... 
Nuke comes back, obviously, you're not going to see what you're seeing out of Hollywood. Yeah, right that's now. why I'm taking a lot of it. Plus, but, second half, Kyler, real bad. Yeah, he's just been nicked in the second half, so we shall see. But, I mean, even as bad yeah. as it's been, I saw something, some stat today that Mer- Kyler's still QB like eight over there. So, yeah, with limited rushing as well, too. Right. So, I, 17 you know. targets for Marquise. Right, so I mean, even if Marquise goes game. down, goes down to you know a, a reasonable eight targets a game, I'm still down with that. I just feel like it could be a minute before There's Olave. A I don't know how long difference. I don't know how long Michael Thomas will last. He's already, <laughs> he already, already banged, banged, already back and nicked up. Yeah. But we saw how dominant he was. Like, yeah, what a what a whoop de doop he pulled on everybody. He just probably, I'm back. Just kidding. Probably, you know. Yeah, it, but the, I don't. Him and Olave are wildly different players. Right, but I'm saying like the target share of that offense was focused on so yeah. much Michael Thomas, Jameis in there. Like anytime he needed something, he was you know really looking at. You can't say I blame um, him. No, Michael Thomas. Um, but you know, he in fairness, he was going out of Olave. So I mean, his name is can't guard Mike on Twitter. So I mean, right. why would you not throw to him? Right, can't stand Michael him. Pittman or Olave. Pittman, that's easy. Easy, easy. Mike you Dub or Olave. Love Pittman, Olave, Olave. Mike Dub's too old to not take you Olave. You don't like that, Mike. Michael Mike Pittman? Will, Mike Williams. I thought you said Michael I, Pittman. I did say Pittman. You said it was too easy, so I transitioned. Oh, okay. Okay. Dub. Sorry, I'm like the big W. Try to keep um, up, bro. We're moving fast around sorry, here. Sorry, I was just perplexed that you were even considering that. Um, hmm? Well, somebody would dis- highly disagree with you. Though. I don't. I mean, it's not out of the question to take Olave over it's Pittman. It's not out of the question. I think right now you still have to take Williams. Because of where he's producing, Mike Williams. Yes. Saying? No, I'm saying it's not out of the question to take uh, Mark or uh, Pittman P- or Olave over Pittman. Olave over Pittman. I def. I think I gotta take Olave at 22 years old over Mike Williams, who's he's gotta be at least you, 27. So you're you're going Pittman and and Mike Williams is 28 Williams. right now. That's six years. Like, and Keenan's not playing right now. Like, you gotta probably cash out on Mike Dub right now and get you some Olave if that's. I don't think you can make that trade. I don't either. That's why I got to take Olave. I mean, I would probably make that trade. I mean, I don't think somebody would accept that No one's going to give you Olave for what Mike Williams, I don't think. I don't think so either. He's producing just like Mike yeah. Williams, and he's 22. Yeah. That's too easy. Shout out to Mike Dub, though. Fucking love some Mike Williams. Of course you do. Go Tigers. All right. Anybody got anything else to Jerry add? Judy. One more. Jerry Judy. Oh, uh, Judy. I think I got to stick with Judy. Finally had a decent Russell week. Judy got a little Yeah, love. I think it's Judy, but I think it's probably closer than you got. I'm probably a little closer on that than you guys yeah. are. You were down on, you're a little more down on Judy than I think I was coming into the season. But I don't think it's I don't think it's as far as maybe I had a preseason for sure. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll agree there then. Um if you, obviously Elijah Moore right now is is down. I think I got to take Olave. You know, I know you don't like Olave. How about DJ Moore? Or Olave. Oh, gosh. If you could, I would move DJ Moore right now for Olave if I could. I think I would move DJ Moore for a, f- a fucking few beans. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck DJ Moore. He sucks. I'm tired of like, DJ Moore. He doesn't. I'm tired of him. <laughs> Sick of him. <laughs> Just if you have hate in your heart, he's only t- he's only twenty five. Yeah, that ain't that young. Yeah, in your bra. <laughs> I, I just uh, I'm just fed up with DJ Moore and if I, I you can't sell him right now which just sucks it sucks when you can't fucking sell a guy yeah. you know what I mean yeah when you could have got two first for him like I doubt you get two first I, for him. at some I, point now. you probably could have yeah obviously not now he had two catches last week no I mean not not any time in the recent not since he was like a freshman <laughs> could you have gotten two first for him but I mean maybe maybe second year player you could have yeah maybe but like now you can't. You can't get anything for him, so I, I would trade him for any of these rookies. I'll trade him for Traylon. Let's go. Let's get get me off DJ Moore, please. Get let's me get, off DJ Moore. Let's move on. All right, moving along here, we'll go to George Pickens in the rookie review. Um, not didn't didn't gather uh, you know too much data on Pickens because why would we? There's really not you know you'd have to take that filter back off. Um, <laughs> nah, and, he's got enough. Right? This this last week might have bumped him in there. He's got enough. Um, you know, but last week obviously saw the big game. Uh, he was he saw a target on thirty three percent of his routes in the second half today, which would be Sunday, uh, compared to twenty eight point six percent in the first half and twelve point nine percent over the first three weeks. 
Um, so Mitchell was targeting him a little bit more than usual and before he went out. And then Kenny comes in and just peppers him. 33%. Now we're talking. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty he averaged 5.92 uh, yards per route run. Damn, that is some half. nice PFF sorting right there. You got the second half. I, I was just, uh, I think I just did some searching and that was a that was some PFF data pooling there from, I think, themselves. Um, so, um, I think that's that's a pretty strong indictment of, of what Pickens is. You, you saw, you know, Claypool, who was Pickens before Pickens on that team. Did you see read that second stat? Yeah. Okay. Pickens is not on there, by the way, for fifty percent. He's still on twenty percent. Twenty. He's on twenty percent. He's on twenty percent. He's not. Um, by the way, I w- I would like to apologize. Tutu Atwell is not number one A dot. It's actually Demir Bird. Tutu mm. Atwell is seventh. Mm. George Pickens up there in A dot. He is sure nineteen point three. You know it, but you didn't write it down. I no. didn't think it was that relevant. 18, cause yeah, because no one cares about the A dot, man. Eighteen five. Oh, okay. A dot doesn't matter. Is it nineteen three? I'm just mm. talking over him at this point. Yeah, you should. Sometimes, I just remember when sometimes you got to disregard. <laughs> I just remember I can I'll never let go of Jarvis Landry not being any good because A dot's not. Well, any good. they're they're different players. I mean that's. Fine Are you getting you me wanna... fantasy points? Yes or no? Yes. Cool. Well, I don't give a fuck about your A dot. The good news is is George Pickens can get fantasy points with a low A dot <laughs> or a high A dot, and he just happens to have a high A dot. Um, Must be good. So, you know, I, he was this offense's Claypool. The first target that Kenny Pickett throws is to a clay pool. Was the throw uh-huh. great? No. The uh-huh. throw could have been a little bit outside the numbers a little bit more, but is is the effort great? I mean, he and you threw see, it up and let the big guy go get arms. it. It and wasn't a great throw. He had to stop. If he would have let him keep moving, he could have got it to but where it needed to be. But that guy was coming. No. If, it, was this deep if he puts it outside the numbers instead of inside that number, you know, it probably could have been a little bit easier play, better play for for ape for uh, clay pool. But regardless, going up and not seeing those arms fully extended, really putting a big effort in, I think Pickens would be that guy we've already seen make the crazy efforts, crazy adjustments Ooh. to balls. Yeah, Odell Beckhamish, um, and then right off the rip, like we saw with the stats going up, uh, Kenny's got trust in George. Um, Kenny was going right at George. End of the game, going at George. Back shoulders fades going to George. Um, all, all different lengths of the field, short ones, mediums, long ones. Um, <laughs> In and out at a medium pace. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think the brightest days are ahead for George Pickens. I think. Um, yeah, let me get George Pickens. Ob- obviously, you know, after a Kenny Pickett reemergence and the, the just the tangible shot of life it put into the Steelers. The fans, um, the stadium. You know, there's probably not a not whole the lot win of. column. Probably not a whole lot of effort of uh, or, or ability to trade for George Pickens currently. Yeah, you could have maybe before this. Maybe, um, but I mean, he was on the field a lot. If you watch that yeah, Thursday he, night well, game though, uh, and you saw that catch, the numbers weren't there. And, but like, god damn, you probably weren't selling. I think that's you know to even further the point of Pickens is that the route participation was already extremely high uh, i don't have the exact number in front yeah. of me but he he was out there for a lot and you know just not getting crazy targets i think he like i said this this week would have been you know mitchell targeting him a little bit more but just not getting it done just call him so, trubisky mitchell just call him trubisky no i like calling him mitchell just call him true bitch just call him the backup quarterback and you know what i'm you know i'm getting picket and pickens confused so much i'm just going back to george i think i like it i think george george no one calls him strong, george strong Georgie? Georgie P? GP. GP? I mean... Georgie Porgy Pudding Pie? Now we're talking. Um, now I don't think I get confused anymore. Before my time. So, you know, I think really at the end of the day, George Pickens was a favorite of ours. It's nice to see him getting pumped up, targeted, and I think, you know, the nastiness and the dirtiness of, of what George Pickens can do may finally start being unlocked here. And if we've seen it a million times... When a different quarterback comes in, who's their guy? I don't. I don't know that Deontay Johnson is necessarily, you know, in trouble of saying all of a sudden I'm not going to get you know a great target share in this offense because he will. Um, so maybe there's. It seems like there may be shift away from that as Deontay Johnson's target share in trouble. Maybe there's a little buy low opportunity for Deontay Johnson in here. Um, yeah, it seemed like that um, uh, Pickett was favoring Pickens and. Kenny was favoring Hat. George. Indeed. Let's see. George Pickens had a 90% route participation in week one. 
95% route participation in week two. George likes his chicken spicy. 87% route participation in week three. George and is then, getting upset. Uh, let's see. George likes his chicken spicy. Actually lower in week four. 78.8% route participation, but... So I'll, I just want to back you up on those numbers. Yeah. And you were reading it off. Uh, Boy, I knew them things were strong. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to John Bauer and his usage report on his Patreon. Got to got to check that out. Go go holler at him for some. Give him some cashish, some cashola, some ducats for some for some. Uh, some schmeckle, some <laughs> schmeckle, shekels, shekels, shekels. shekels. But I did not realize that was the currency of Israel. I thought that was just like a, like a, like a, um, uh, just like a thing. But nope, it's the currency of Israel. Carry on. Anything to add with with George Pickens here? I mean, we're we gonna do a little hypotheticals here. Sure, we can. Olave or or, or Pickens? I'm taking Pickens. It's hard not. To yeah. Stick with Pickens. Had Pickens over him pre-draft. Pickens I wanted Pickens to be me. my number one wide receiver so bad, and then I didn't. And then he went to Pittsburgh, and then I dropped him down even a little bit more, and then yeah. I brought him back up right there at the end a little bit while the hype was hot. Yeah. Uh, but I just, I just think, of of course, Olave is not the wrong answer. Uh, but I just, I just like the raw ability and oh, the, baby, I like it raw. the different things that George Pickens could offer you. I just think is is unmatched by a lot of the other guys here the size the strength the ability to take big ones to the house uh run the intermediates be strong like his blocking Yuck. like even in that last pittsburgh game he was lined up like right off the inline they ran a play he just buried a dude i mean those are just those that's a pittsburgh steelers fucking wide receiver right there um so. Just a physical freak with all the tools, all the talent. And you could say those same things Natural I just said about ability. Olave besides the, 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 nastiness. the nastiness. He doesn't have that dog. He got a dog in him. Yeah. You look at his heart, no dog in that yeah. heart. You look at Pickett's heart, there's three dogs. There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex with long arms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just he's dangerous. Not, not a little... Uh, yeah, no Claypool arms. T-Rex. Fucking Claypool's got T-Rex T- arms. Tyus, Claypool's top three, and he's got the... Uh, He's not even, yeah. Yeah, the terrible. Does he still do that? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I can't look at him. He's anymore. not even the third best pass catcher on his own team anymore. He's not even the fourth best catch pass, pass catcher on his own. Najee. team. you got Najee ahead of him. Najee, baby. And Maybe Muth. even Jalen Warren. Muth. <laughs> Maybe even Jalen Warren. He's moving out of five. Yeah. Pickens, Pickett, Kenny ain't throwing it up to him like that anymore. Um, Pickens or Burks. Pickens. Pickens. I've I've been. Did you answer Bert, Pickens or Olave? Yeah, you asked it. Answer it. I, I think I'm gonna stick with Olave. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's. A, I think I think most people watching this after the stats read and all that, and most people are gonna say it's got to be Olave. Mm-hmm. I'm going with Pickens. I'm gonna go with a little less. Seems more sure with Olave, but I'm going more with sure. Uh, what what could be with Pickens? Burks or uh, Pickens? Pickens. My heart Pickens. says Burks, but my head says Pickens. Kenny. What about? I know this is probably too easy, but like Deontay Johnson or Pickens in Dynasty. I mean, Deontay is like twenty six. I did just lock him on twenty seven. Age, you're an ageist. I mean, dude, Pickens is twenty one. That's five years. We're talking about Dynasty, and like I'm talking about practice, you know. And Deontay hasn't been just slaying it this year. Now it was Mitch. Well, I mean, all. But I mean, I don't know what his second half Mitchell. numbers in the game were. But it couldn't have been like amazing. No, no, no. no. And they they George, weren't, which is why I think they're. I George was Pickens about. and Kenny Pickett have been together. He'll be 26 this season, Deontay Johnson. So he's only 25 right now. My that's man's trying to bit, add ages over that's there. That's a little more palatable. I learned that from Big Co. Palpable? Palatable. Palatable. <laughs> <laughs> he's 31. Nah. So you're all take y'all sticking with Deontay? I'll, I'll stick. I'm with sticking Deontay. with Deontay, but I think it's close. It's get it's, it's moving on close. up. It's 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 um uh, closing by the day. Terry McLaurin, twenty. He is twenty seven. I'll take Pickens. I just I, th- mean, I just think there's a log jam of good receivers over there right now in, in Washington, and maybe well, not a, the best facilitator week in week out no. to get it done. We thought maybe it could be, and I think it will be. I think they just had a little bit. They, they went Eagles and and um. Cowboys the last two yeah, weeks. The line doesn't help either. Um, no, and the line then suffered some more injuries. <laughs> I said wine. Um, <laughs> so you know, I think I think there'll be a little Carson Wentz uptick. Um, and Terry should see a bit of an uptick too, because I don't think Deami Brown is John Dotson. I would trade Pickens. I would trade T- 
Terry for Pickens. I know that's probably uh, blasphemy. Aggressive. Blasphemous. Um, but scared money don't make no money. That's God what I'm winner Pickens. Um, Pickens. I would say Godwin if it felt like the QB, the, like just the, there was now, a, there was is more Tommy stability. Really divorce because maybe he comes back for 46, 47. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Like he's until sixty. He's like, I'll just he, I'll just sleep on some couches. He's waiting until Social Fuck Security it. kicks in now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm stick with Rod God. Seems Jimmy like Pickens. you should stick with Godwin. He came right back in this week and had yeah, he's fine. This great he's targets. Fine. Yeah, this um, he was fine. Look pretty State solid. Guy. We are. I would feel, and Godwin's probably twenty six. Um, he's twenty. He'll be. He's according to the according to the board 26. directly behind Jay Wayne's head. He's in twenty six. He's either twenty six or will turn twenty six. February twenty seventh. He turned twenty six. E. T. or George Pickens. Pickens. I th- oh, fuck man. Got him tangled up in blue. More like orange. Orange, yeah. It's and purple. Purple. Man, I don't know. Pass. <laughs> Pass. You gotta answer the question. Man, <laughs> answer I, the question. I, I, I love to. I gotta take ET. I think. Mm. Yeah. Talk about fucking tomerism. Yeah, that's why I said pass. I'm a big ET supporter, and I, it feels like I should stick with him, but I'd, I'd swap it out for Pickens right now if I could. I don't know if that you can. It's looking pretty bad there in Jacksonville for ET right now. Running backs get you get thirsty, so. You do. One good game, and it'll be right back up there. You're right. We just need one good game. We need one, like, just busted long run, you know? It's, he's been there. You see the momentum building up on a couple of runs, and he just get, it's, loses. It's there. It's just we don't yeah. know. I don't know exactly know what's going on. Bad 20, 23 game. 23 first for Pickens? All day. All fucking day. It's Mostly easy. directed at Matt there, because I agree. <laughs> yeah, so I think easy. you have to now. What else are you looking to get with the 23 pick? Besides what, George what, uh, Pickens. All right, so Pickens. Maybe what, Beyond, let's, let's, John Robinson. Let's say 20, okay? 23 and Miles Sanders. 23 and Sanders? Yeah, for Pickens. No, I think that's too I think that's too much to give up. Seems like a lot, but it, it, one the, next week when Miles Sanders goes out with a wrist injury after the first <laughs> series, you're going to be like, damn it, I wish I had George Pickens. It's it's easily the, the duo over Pickens for there for me. I, I, I got to get something back. I you probably get like the two back. No, you probably can't get the Give two back. Give me something back. And you're asking for the two? I need something That's back. not nothing. I need something. That's a lot. That's what I'm saying. You probably can't get the two back. If I could get the two back all day. Sure. Then I'm back in. DJ Moore or Pickens? <laughs> not even close. I'm trading Pickens. Not even close at Meow. this point. Get rid of DJ Moore. <laughs> I have DJ Moore in a league. Do you think I would you would do you do you think I should offer that and see what happens? Just to just to, and if they say no, to, ask how many beans you can get for DJ Moore. And, just to fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. All right, maybe. we'll do it live. Whoa, hey, <laughs> fuck it, we're going. I think you love DJ Moore though, so I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Too easy. He's not starting for me this week. I don't think mm-hmm. so. Who you want to start more this week? Pickens or Pickett? All I right, I gotta have a Javante Williams but. or George Pickens. Mm, let's see. Well, I the problem is the, the problem back. is is the picket owner team sucks. What if I gave you? What if I gave you a second and Rashad and and Miles Sanders for Pickens? I'm saying like Javante. Like we get the Javante side of things, right? You got the Pickens side of things on the Pickens side. If it was Pickens oh, oh. and Miles Sanders, whoops, hit the wrong button for Javante. Look, I just did. I just, I just actually offered Kenny Pickett instead of oh. George Pickens. Mm. Yep, See, that's why. George, you got to go with George. <laughs> I mean, you're only doing that if you're trying to get points out of your lineup, you know. And so you're trying to get rid of Miles Sanders. I think that's well. No, you're trying to you're trying to acquire Pickens and Miles Sanders for trading away your broken asset of Javante Williams. Okay, so you get you're giving up Javante and getting George Pickens. Just trying to use somebody who's Sanders. high value, who's injured. So, you're try, so I said no, I'm I'm keeping Javante. You're trying to add to the deal right. to, give to get me to see give what up would take Javante. you to get off of Javante or or Josh Jacobs. I don't want Miles Sanders now. Josh Jacobs. Oh, all right. Monty, now we're talking. Monty, get your juices flowing. What are we talking about here? Sorry, I was in the middle of sending out. So trade he on. he said no for Javante pick and swap. He's sticking Javante. I said, what if we added Miles Sanders to the George Pickens side? Why are you so? Uh, 
trying to get rid of Miles Sanders. He's just, he's just hot. He just, he's just playing well right now. The problem so. is, is he's actually a good football player. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I'm... Josh Jacobs, Miles Sanders feels like they're, you know, back in kind of the same realm and back alive. So I'm just... Those are hot in the streets. So Monty could be right in there. He's not playing right now. So that's... Not the, a good yeah. time to... Uh, but Good time to buy Monty. Josh Jacobs and, and Pickens to, to trade away your Javante Williams? I think I'll take the package over Williams there. I don't think that I'd want to give up George Pickens and 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 Josh Jacobs no, to get Javante. Well, I'd be I'd be going the other way here. You just so lost that would Javante. make me think that yeah, that I wouldn't. All right, let's move on. Let's not get too stuck on this. Let's go to the last one here. We'll go to uh, Jahan Dotson, wide receiver, 28, 13.1 points per game. Got a little bit of a hammy injury, so uh, out for possibly a week or two here. He's at about 100% route participation, uh, 13.2 uh, target share, number 72 per player profiler, um, 20 targets, 12 receptions, 152 yards, four tuds, teeds, tutties, whatever the kids are saying these days. That's good for number one. Um, 12.7 yards per reception. That's got to regress, right? We can't, can't sure. have that living up. That's, that's actually a negative. 16.4 so don't take four that dot. as a good stat, kids. Too many touchdowns a is a negative. But the A dot, seventh, Ooh, right there. Now he's back good again. 328 air, air yards. Are you not going to regress on touchdowns if your A dot's good enough? What about the air yards? Just trying to figure out the formula here. Deep Somebody targets, his mic. <laughs> deep targets. He's got seven. That's fifth per player profiler. Contested catch, uh, targets six. Contested catch, contested catch is. Five. That's Which good is for, interesting because that's good for not what four. he specialized at at Penn State. Um, dominator rating 32.4%, 18th uh, overall. Uh, so, yes, I would also disagree. I thought he was really good in the contested catch. Crushing catches. Um, just okay. Contested or not. We're allowed to disagree. On target or not. Um, Best hands in the class. So, obviously. Over Pickens? Obviously, there's. Sample size. Yeah. Two other, you know, good. Wide receivers yeah, in this offense, and, and <laughs> well, he's getting the targets, um, and Fair. also two, but not a dot, two pretty good pass catching running backs, in yeah, that's the one that they actually use, <laughs> right? So you know, I think Dotson's a little diluted down here um, with the targets and the receptions. The touchdowns the are yards. buoying his, his his fantasy points for sure. Um, but that being said, like when you watch him, and I went back and watched you know, most of his plays and most of his targets. Um, he has no problem getting open. That last touchdown in the Gi in the uh, Cowboys game was probably his best touchdown to date. That wasn't that wasn't like more of a little bit of a contested catch where he put a move on and still had to make a nice catch uh, where he just kind of put a move on somebody and, and ran to the back corner of the end zone and just got away from him. Um, so I think Dotson's future's really bright. Um, that being said, depending on on the team, I said we did buy, sell, hold in the commanders, wide receivers. I do have a team that's got a lot of young wide receivers on it. If I could capitalize and, and pick up a first, um, maybe, maybe a 23 first, maybe I would. Um, but I'm not necessarily saying that would happen. What are your guys' thoughts on, on Jahan Dotson and his early start here? On the 23 first? Just, no, just in general. I mean. I think it's, I think he's been pretty promising. I've, I've, I've been... I've been pleasantly surprised with his play so far this year. Obviously, I'm a bit... I was probably a bit over... I was probably a bit overcritical of Dotson coming into the year because I literally saw every snap that he played in college. Like, yeah. that's not a hyperbole. I literally watched well, every and, snap he played in college. And I think when you're a fan of a team and and there's some spots and some games where you didn't like what he did. But you turned that Maryland game on last year and you're like, he had two, like 200, 230 yards receiving. And you're just like, he's right. got that dog in him. Or that guy. Ohio state game Some, too. Sometimes it's that different. one from two years ago when he caught those passes, they were down by three touchdowns. So sometimes you keeping them semi in it by single handedly, but the Liter team literally, single, literally single handedly right. in a couple of those. Right. Sometimes it's different when it's it's your team and you're leaning on every every single thing and you see in a big moment of something that he really he really broke your heart or you thought it was a little more on him that sometimes it's hard to shake that stigma a little bit. And I think that's probably, you know, kind of what that was. 
Jason wasn't the biggest T Higgins guy coming out of Clemson and he did eventually come around, but he wasn't like singing T Higgins praises where I, I felt like from the outside looking in, I was a little higher on T Higgins cause yeah. I don't have any, you know, he watches them every single week and just, you know, that was a mistake on my part. Yeah. To well, not be like, Oh my God. Cause I look at like who they have now and it's like, man, I miss T Higgins so much. <laughs> like God is not bad. See, but people want him to, like, he isn't that dude. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, he's nowhere near T. Higgins. Like, he just. Sure. T. Higgins was just a Probably master. Probably what he was saying about T. Higgins when T. Higgins was there. He's yeah, not he's that not, dude. He's not Hopkins. <laughs> he's no, not I, I wasn't Hopkins. down on him. I wasn't saying don't take <laughs> no, him. I no. just was like, had a couple guys over him. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. it. I liked him, and I ended up and trading up to get him in I don't, rookie drafts. I think and, Matt's probably semi-similar. wasn't like don't draft Dotson, but we probably had some other guys sure. over him. Sure. I mean, I'm not not drafting anyone. I'm right. just. I but think back to I, Dotson. I, I mean, he's scoring way too many touchdowns for my uh, preference, you know, because that's not sustainable. I mean, it's it's not. It's it's you know most likely not, but I mean, it's nice to see that he's capable of. Sure, of it is. Yeah, getting he's showing away from you defenders that he can fucking play. You know, you yeah. thought he could play. We were high on him. We were like singing his praises telling you you got to go get him in the second round because he's there we were going to take him in the first oh round in the if second in the second round i was all over dots and i just wasn't willing to take him at like one seven yeah i don't think we ever took him at one seven but like one nine we probably took him at one nine in that in that try in that one league i think maybe one ten something like that that was yeah. super well, flex we had league, one, so. we had one twelve in the triflex because we won Oh, that must be where we took him. Then. We took Dotson. We tried to trade back a couple of picks to be able to maybe still take him, but we couldn't because Christian Watson was still on the board. Um, but no, we had you know I like I Dotson had over him. Watson. I had I had Jahan Dotson over Olave. I had them one spot ahead of Olave. Mm, uh, like, I had Olave like over eight, Dotson. Eight nine area. Yeah, we had right him, there. We had him eight nine overall in the rookie superflex draft, and I mean, and so you that's know, pretty high for for right, being right on now. Dotson. Like like I said, we just did Olave. Olave's crushing it but Olave is also being you know I, I think Olave is very good but he's also getting a little bit better look of saying hey these you know Jarvis is gimpy playing games they don't really have a tight end Arvin Kamara's been missing time Michael How Thomas is missing time. How dare you speak ill of Jawan Johnson. Uh, yeah and you know so if Dotson could maybe get some more opportunities to go along with these touchdowns the targets you know were more in that 35 range like Olave's were I think you know and there wasn't Terry and Curtis out there, you know, I think we would be really, really high on Jahan Dotson right now as well. Um, trying so to take Jahan over Olave is what you're saying right there? I'm not necessarily saying that right now. I'm saying I, in full disclosure, I did have him ahead of him. Um, and I don't know that I, I'm necessarily saying I'm ready to just go. I, I like them both now. I like Olave. Yeah, sure. You know, I was a little iffy on Olave, and now, of course, you know, I'm on my end. We were I've, flip-flop I've, there. I've seen, you know a whole enough of Olave to be like, yeah, this, this guy's, you know, can do it. I thought he could be, I thought he'd maybe be a little bit more of a better team contributor than a fantasy contributor. But like I said, for Olave, we're, we're, we're getting a little more, uh, usage because of the situation kind of wilting around him after a few weeks. And maybe it'll, maybe, maybe Michael Thomas is, is, you know, can never quite gets a hundred percent and stays on the field. And Jarvis has always been a little nicked. Uh, so, you know, that's what you're, you know, that's why you play the game. That's, uh, but, you know, Jahan, would you guys, are you guys interested in moving off Jahan? I know we did buy, sell, hold. You guys, I think we're all in the hold category. Everybody's yeah, still in the hold category. In the hold category. Why would the you be? The, well, the only thing that scares you off is that, you know, Carson how, Wentz. well, no, how many years do you, are you stuck in, you know, Terry just resigned. Curtis has got another year or two on his deal. A year. So, he's, he's got a year. Um, you know, you're stuck potentially in, you know, being second and third week in, week out. In, I think in, he's good. And I think I I think he's good enough to be the two there pretty solidly. Yeah. 7.2 dead million cap if they cut Curtis Samuel after this year. So, I mean, they certainly could, but if not Curtis, the end of the world. But but I guess what I'm amount. saying is if Curtis Samuel continues to be healthy and right, play, and play you know, there's no reason for them to him. cut them. Um, yeah. We're Agreed. playing fantasy football. They're playing real football. I mean, that's yeah. a great receiving core. Yeah. If Curtis is healthy, you know, the eight dots not good, but he's a good player. Um, and then they seem to like him and yeah. scheme 
scheme plays for him. He's now, a fine three. He's a fine three will, for me. Will Ron stay no, in the leadership no. of that group? I don't think. I think. I think if. I, I think, think they kind of needed at him. the trajectory of the there that the Commanders are going on. I think this is la- Rivera's last year. I think they've they been backsliding since. The I don't even one. know if he'll make it the year at this point. They needed him to. I feel like that was a good person Culture to put in power for, gap for to in say, say, "Hey, you know, look at this coach we hired that is a no nonsense kind of." Yeah. For they're this probably going to have a top eight draft pick. They can bring in the quarterback of their choosing, probably, and that's going to be enticing with with some good skill position players. Jimmy there. was almost there. Jimmy could be there again next year. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they do that. I think they probably just try and draft a young guy. Possibly depends on how many games they win. At um, this point, you might as well just give Howell some run. Eh, I think you stick with Carson for a little while longer. Maybe not. Um, maybe I'm not saying start Howell next week. I'm yeah. saying I'm saying if it gets to week 13, 14, you're at, you're sitting at two and eleven. What's the point of not playing Howell? See what you got in them. Sure, I, I I think that if your if your season's over in the last game or two, if you wanted to run yeah, Howell out there, that long. Um, I would. Uh, but you know. Like I said, that there was there was a lot of chatter of Jimmy being there. I guess my point is is if they went back to Jimmy, doesn't make me feel any better about him supporting no. three wide receivers. What you would want is uh you know a good quarterback to come there. Which basically you could say Kirk Cousins is terrible, but it's the best quarterback they've had, and they managed to fuck that up. Um, so you know it kind of is what it is there i think that's the only thing that really scares me off Jahan dots and i do believe he's better than curtis samuel so that'll come out in the wash and he might be better than terry mclaurin yeah um i i, 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 I you know pay terry a lot till at least 24 well for sure so i don't think he's going anywhere but i think i think Jahan, you know could kind of be the one and then terry be the the two who's getting overpaid at that point um i think terry's very good uh, if you have you know I mean, just because you got paid doesn't I mean you're good. See, yeah, Galde, comma Kenny. Right, but I, th- I think, I think Terry is good. Terry's He's just been in a, in a terrible situation. Um, so, any anybody want got any trades for Dotson? Who would you, who would you move for Jahan Dotson? Walker or Dotson? Uh, Walker. Walker. Okay. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So, I mean, you, you're basically Casey. You're trying to say maybe you should be moving off of him because. It, he can't sustain the touchdown rate, he and there's a lot can, of mouths to feed can, over can, there. Hold on, hold on. Ahead, you, can, you, you can't. You can make fun of all you want. He's going to be interested. He can't sustain the touchdown. He can't. He's not going to get a touchdown every five targets. Right. That's unsustainable. I right. wasn't making fun of him. I was legitimately saying, like you're saying, he, he can't sustain that, and there's a lot of mouths to feed, and they're not really going anywhere. Yeah, and but they're not a great quarterback situation. Not a great team situation. He is scoring a lot of points right now. It's that's a good time to move off of a guy you think might could regress. You know. Yeah, I mean, he obviously just got hurt, so it's probably not the best time to try to maybe move off of him. I, you know, he could ab- absolutely end the season with twelve touchdowns this year, and maybe never not score twelve touchdowns for another two years. Um, but I'd be willing to bet you a large sum of money he doesn't score eight touchdowns the rest of the year. It depends how long he's out. For me to take that, um, if he misses a game or two, I might have to drive that down to seven touchdowns. Um, Still taking that, but bet. maybe this is like a T. Higgins situation where they got to worry about F one over there, and he's a fucking great player. Yeah, and that's the easier throw to make, you know. Right. Maybe he scores more points. You just kind of need Curtis Samuel to career. not be a little more schemed up. To take away that some, shit ain't gonna last, man. Yeah, I just you know, it could he it could can't. last for two more years theoretically. Well, it, well, I mean, the thing we can make fun about same as a dot, but if the line sucks that bad and Carson's got to get the ball out, he's gonna throw it to Samuel. I just mean right. that Samuel's body isn't gonna hold up. Oh, well, I mean, maybe. So I'm not saying I would trade Jahan Dotson. I'm just saying. I mean, I'll trade anyone for the right price. Right, I, I agreed. Uh, I mean, I so. once traded my I I traded Michael Thomas in his prime for four first. Yeah. Would you would you trade if you could trade off Darnell Mooney for Jahan Dotson right now? Oh, see ya. Let me get Dotson. That's a conflicting one for me because I don't I think Mooney's good. I just yeah. I just You don't have to give up Dotson to get Mooney, you know? No, probably not. Well, if there's a team that's less interesting to have players on than the fucking commanders, it's the Bears. It's the Bears. It's definitely the Bears. I mean, you see, so you're definitely shipping him off for the 23 first, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically what you just paid. Um, 
and, and what he was worth. Um, so definitely like a, in Superflex. So in, in, in Superflex, I'm definitely trading. Like first. I said, I've got this auction league that I just drafted. I started up. I did draft most of the rookie wide receivers. And in that case, I'm trying to, you know, get some more first round picks because it's an auction rookie draft. So in that case, I would probably sell him for a 23 first because if I can go into that with three 23 firsts, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be big wiener in the stack um, and basically be able to buy, you know, Bijan, Bijan and a quarterback and something else with those three first rounders. And probably I'm going to end up with some extra seconds and some extra thirds. Um, so, that, you know, in that case, then, yes, I would. I, in a regular just run-of-the-mill linear re rookie draft, I'm, pro I'm probably just going to hang on because, I mean, he's probably what I want out of that. Now, if it seems like I could get a, a good draft pick for him, like a top four, but that's, you know. That's not happening. Yeah, just a reckless person who thinks they're good and maybe isn't that great. The roster sucks. Um, so, anything else? Shipping off DJ Moore to get Jahan Dotson, right? I might hold on to DJ Moore. See ya. But I, I could be, I could be persuaded differently. DJ, DJ's a, a a great number one. He also just needs a quarterback and a non. Fuck! I would take Carson Wentz in a minute in Carolina over whatever. Yeah. Baker's. Yeah, has I, back I, there. I agree. Shit! Give me Matt Corral. Shit! Give me PJ Walker. I don't care. Oof, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, talk about guys who are going to get fired real soon. Yeah. Matt Rule's got to be plus yeah, money. Got to be plus money to be the first head coach fired. Yeah, did, was wrong about I thought Rule was going to come in there and have a nice little run here, but it wasn't wasn't good. It's been pretty terrible. Yeah. They had I mean, to fire Joe Brady. Like it just was like it seems it seemed yeah. like it was going to be awesome and then Yeah, you you fired Joe Brady to bring in to bring in McAdoo. -Doo. Yeah. Anybody got anything else on Dotson? You want to move on to the other three guys? Dotson or Traylon? I'm sticking with Traylon. I'll stick with Traylon. Dotson or Mike Williams? Probably should stick with Mike Dub, but I'll trade him for Dotson. Gabriel. You think you could get him first for Mike Dub right now? You want a competitor? Seems, seems unlikely. Depends. For a competitor, some maybe. Leagues, probably in some leagues. Yeah. What about my son, Gabriel? Gabe Davis? Yeah. Seems like a great time to buy Gabe Davis. Pivot yeah, I mean, off it's, it's just Buffalo. Right. I mean, that's really the, what the trade is. There. Yeah. It's, it's hopefully you could get healthy Gabe Davis who can get a reasonable target share in that offense. And then I think that then that trade would probably yeah. be worth it. Yeah. I think I'm taking Davis there. Agreed. Jameson or Jahan Dotson? Jameson uh, Williams? Oh, yeah. J-Dubs. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, sticking with the, I'm sticking with the eye test, and I'm going to take Williams. Yeah, Might get a little bit extra at this point. For what? Yeah, Even I think you Dotson, could right now. Get, I think you could. Jameson plus. I think you get more? Yes. Hmm. I think, I think people are going to take the bird in hand versus two in the bush. Because yeah, good golf is playing. I just feel like since that offense has been so damn good. White, the I number like one scoring like offense. Like and fast. And I you know, obviously that's not sustainable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <what the>, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. Sure it is. That defense is also getting I, up the most points. Sure. The they just did it without any of their good players. It's incredibly sustainable. It's 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 not. But I mean, it's it was the main concern of him going over there. And I feel like. It's it's been at least, you know, maybe maybe it's not a sleep, but you've kind of tucked it in and uh, you know put it to bed. The, the offensive concerns for bit. Detroit, yeah, just that it was you know, yeah. like just the, the Lions, basically, like we're saying with the Redskins right now. I like, think that's I think that's helmet scouting. Commanders, what is, what's helmet scouting? The, about the, it? the Lions, the Lions are the Lions. Like, yeah, well, because you who who did you want in that offense ever, except for Calvin Johnson. Matt Stafford for a lot well, of years. Sure. That's, the, that's a quarterback. They're just you. You for worry. Second, that, Barry that, I mean, that was part I mean, of the knock of of St. Brown. That's part of the knock of anybody over there. Is that it's a, it's just a bad situation that hasn't gotten good in so long. That's why Calvin Johnson's not in the fucking league anymore. Yeah, he like, quit. I mean, they did have Kenny Big Play Galladay um, when he was good. You know, what about Mikel Lashore? Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> Just in the league. Just in the league. Yeah. 
He didn't. Die. I think he's still fine. Uh, yeah. Might have a neck Javid problem. Be- Javid Best. Javid Best. For Amir sure. Abdullah. Yeah. Amir Abdullah. We're talking about players who are actually good. Who was the uh, Theo Riddick? Oh, Theo Riddick. He walks the James. Oh, Lincoln he's the, he's the satellite uh, zero RBs fucking. That's satellite. Their, one year. That's their guy. Yeah. Worst Dave Matthews song. That and Crash. What about it's most popular what about ones. My least favorite. I love all the rest of them. <laughs> love. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like Dave and Fish. Whoa. Mm. Got an unsu- <laughs> Somebody unsubscribe right there. <laughs> Hit me in the comment section. In the good words of my good friend Stephen A. Smith, stay off the weed. <laughs> I'm def- I'm not on the weeds. Uh, Nichols leaned into me and said, you know, I kind of like Dave and Fish too. I mean, I don't mind Dave that much, but I've, I've never made it through a whole Dave Matthews concert. I've been three times. Had to roll out. It's too much for me for <laughs> after a while. I'm like, I can only enjoy Carter Buford so much, and then I'm like, all right, I get it. I'm like we're good. How, is, See you later. Something happened, right? He's not on this team anymore. I, I think, think he's. I think he still is the drummer. Oh, he's the violinist. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Boyd yeah. Tinsley. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I can't play some Dave on the way out of here because uh, <laughs> please go. <laughs> copyright DMCA. I'm just going to call this. We went long enough. You yeah. know, we'll just make well, I would try to call it a while ago. By itself. Yeah. You're not long enough to shorten it enough to yeah. matter. So appreciate y'all for joining us here on the YouTube. Hit me with that subscribe button. If you're listening on the podcast, just tap that five-star review, baby. And if you send me a screenshot that you did so, I'll enter you into the contest to win a free T-shirt. I like it, you. Yeah. Just help your boys out. And if you're looking for... More interaction, more more help, access to the Discord channel. At some point, we're going to be putting more shit out. This is uh, Patreon exclusive. Life's just crazy right now. Go over to patreon.com slash EFF Dynasty. Hit us with that $5 holla. You ain't even got to hang out that long. If you've been listening for a while and you like it, so get hop in for a month, drop off the 5 bucks, and get the fuck out. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Drop $5 off, ask your question, and leave. That's, That's fine. fine. <laughs> Slide a question into that DM when you send me the five star review. That's another way to get in there. All right. I don't like that. I'll answer it. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for listening. And we're going to come right back with three more rookies for your pleasure. Pleasurable, pleasurable, pleasurable. Peace.